Hello, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. My name is Lily Griffin, and I'm the marketing manager for Bind Tuning. Um, we're really glad that you're here with us today. Uh, let me go over quickly the agenda. Um, today, we're talking about something really important. It's employee wellness while we're working remotely. So today on our agenda, we have uh, Beatrice Oliveira. She is Bind Tuning's CEO, and she's going to address how companies can help employees cope during this time. Um, she's also going to give us a demo of the Employee Wellness Starter Kit for Microsoft Teams that you can then use to build your own wellness space at your company. Um, but before we get to that, we're going to talk a little bit about isolation during the time of crisis and also wellness as well. And for that discussion, we have a special guest star. Uh, star. Her name is Allison Adams. She is the founder of Homegrown Power Yoga, and she's going to give us some guidance and some perspective. Um, and just a little um, administrative information. We are going to have a Q&A at the end of the chat. So you can use the right window to ask any questions. And then at the end of our session, we'll go ahead and go through any of your questions. OK, so let's get started. Uh, right now, you should be seeing um, my coworkers at Bind Tuning. Um, and it's important for us to talk about people um, before we dive into this subject. Um, this photo was taken on February 25th, which in Portugal is Carnival. Um, we celebrate it here in the United States as Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday. And my coworkers sit side by side by, by each other. They eat lunch together and they drink really, really strong coffee together. Um, two weeks to the day that this photo was taken, everyone went into isolation. And today we're 71 days of all of us working from our homes. Now we're a tech company and so we build collaboration tools. We absolutely know how to collaborate online, but it's it's undeniable that the impact on them, on everyone has been um, very emotional and there's also the physical impact of working remote. Um, unlike my coworkers, I actually live and work in the United States um, and I've been working remote for many years now, but right now remote work is way more remote and way more work than what previously I had been doing. Um, so let me see if I'm going to go through a couple things that I feel and hopefully um, or possibly you're feeling the same things. So one of the things uh, is uh, Friday sure does look a lot like Monday. Um, up until recently here, we weren't really allowed to venture out. Everything is closed. And so other than a special night of takeout, uh, Friday and Monday, they look the same. Um, sometimes my work days seem endless. I know Beatrice is on the call, but it happens. Uh, work fills a lot of time that I um, have on my hands. I mean, I certainly I've watched a lot of Netflix, but uh, we're working. I'm working a lot more than than I did before. Um, I have new coworkers. Uh, I was working here alone in my office and my home for years, and all of a sudden, my spouse, my husband, my teenage son is here, and uh, because of that, um, yeah, we're having this thing. We call it the meeting shuffle. So. Um, I have a conference call. Um, my husband moves out and goes to a different room. Um, he's talking on the phone. I put on my earbuds. Uh, my son's on a call. We got a. It's it's back and forth. It's a lot of moving back and forth with laptops in hands. Um, at our house, the dishes are piling up. The kitchen is always open, and I wouldn't say that's always a good thing. But um, some of you may disagree. But for me, it's not always a good thing. And then I guess the thing that is the most impactful, at least for me, is um, my my nights nights rest is not always restful. Uh, lots of nights I'm lying awake and I'm thinking about what's going to happen, 
anything that is, you know, really sitting on my mind really exacerbates at night and my, my sleeplessness is worse than it's ever been before. So what lies ahead? Um, right now, at this point, we're pretty sure that most of us, if not a lot of us, are going to be working remote and there's um, still uh, pockets of isolation that um, we're going to be dealing with. So at this point, I'm going to hand it over to Allison Adams. And we've invited her to join us because she has, she's able to give us some perspective on what's happening, what we're feeling, and some things that we can do to combat isolation and fatigue. So I'm gonna tell you just a little bit about Allison. I call her a star, a star, she is a star. She's the founder and owner of Homegrown Power Yoga in Herndon, Virginia, which is my yoga studio. She's trained extensively with the Baptiste Institute and she's a brand ambassador for Lululemon. Um, one thing that I think is pretty cool is she led yoga at the White House during the Obama administration. Every year they have an Easter egg roll and she actually um, taught yoga during that. So I think that's that's very cool. Um, anyway, I'm going to switch over to her. Give me a second to um, do that. And uh, we'll do that right now. All right, good morning guys. Thank you, Lily and Beatrice for having me here. And just like Lily mentioned, I am also working remote. I'm in the studio right now, solo, and that's a new thing for me. And just like many of you, working independently, managing family, managing all the things you're doing. And so I really wanna express just some really simple tools that you could put in place. So whether it be that you kind of create your workspace separate from your living space. So where you share your family and where you do your work, even those of you who've been working remotely, you may have that set up and even now it requires a whole new looking because we are in a new way of being, a new way of sharing this. Um, maintaining a schedule. And so if you get up at a certain time, putting your meals in place where you can like one half, have the energy that you need to do the work in front of you for the day. Um, I know for myself, like getting up, taking a shower, doing my self-care in the way that I did when I was still doing life pre-COVID is kind of key. Um, scheduling maintenance and breaks for yourself, like Lily alluded to, we can get into this pattern of everything is collapsed into this one space and really putting like right now, I'm going to pause what I'm doing. I'm going to take a break from work. I'm going to focus on this one thing, whether it's, I don't know, I have three kids at home, whether it's like, I'm going to sit and I'm going to read the book. I'm going to do that. And then shifting your awareness back and getting back to the task at hand. I think that can be one of the, one of the ways that we let our energy kind of just, I'm going to do all the things. And I don't know about you, but I don't do all of the things really well. So directing your focus. Um, I know for myself also, and many of you, you had routines that included, whether it was a yoga practice, a fitness practice, and whether you went to a space and you shared that with people, I encourage everyone right now to be in social engagement around your physicalness, whether it's with your family at home or whether it's with your coworkers. And I think we'll get more to this as the content goes on but creating a shared environment in this time of, like we've, we've said, it's isolated and uh, causing yourself to be in connection with the people you work, you live and you care for, not in just the way of getting work done. Um, I think one of the other things that I for sure have experienced is just the setup of how I work, not letting myself kind of walk around with a laptop and place it down and creating an ergonomic workspace that supports all the work that I actually do in the yoga world. And then obviously there's a business aspect to that too. And so why this matters, like causing yourself to be supported in your environment. And so whether it's, like I said, I my thing is that I teach yoga, I teach meditation, and I know that that lends to a reduction of stress, our adrenal system being less overwhelmed. We get to sleep better once we've moved. Like 
Lily said, like sleepless nights are part of the stress of what we're in. We don't know. And so putting in practices that can support you in not knowing and doing the thing that matters most right now for your well-being. Um, we also know the science, there's data to support it, that movement, however you're moving, increasing your heart rate, eating well, is going to support your immunity. And I know right now I'm concerned. I, I'm doing all I can. Like, get the green things, put them in my system, get the vitamin C, go out, get the sunshine. Like really prioritizing how do you best support yourself? And I think um, I too, in the work that I do, I'm doing a lot of work with corporations and teaching in environments where people would have had that within the office building. They would have brought somebody in and now we're doing, just as we're doing this, we're doing it via the camera, the remote system. And so I do believe that right now, if you are a leader in your organization, you have a responsibility, a corporate responsibility to support your team. So check in with your people, right? How are they not just producing your work, but how are they mentally? What's the long-term sustainability to how you're supporting them? And then really looking at the tools and the systems that you've put in place to support them. So they can feel like one, they're working. We know that when someone feels good with what they're producing, they actually feel good. It goes beyond just the work that they're putting forth. And then mentally, physically, like that all kind of combines into this one aspect of like your employee, your employer as a coexisting relationship. And so I think that you're going to hear more from Beatrice and she's going to share some tools that will kind of piggyback on that and give you some good ideas. So thank you guys. Thank you, Allison. Um, OK, let me switch over now to Beatrice. I'm going to send her live. OK, all right. So, um, well, first of all, thank you so much, Allison, for um, for taking this um, this invitation and for for joining us in this session, Lily, I'm really not sure if I'm on. Uh, to be very honest, um, I see you. You sure? You. Yep, okay. I have you Perfect. on my phone as the um, all right, attendee. All right. Great, um, Allison. This this um, professional perspective on, on the topic is is super important. Um, uh, neither me or Lily are experts in this area, um, but we do try to bring in those those concepts and that knowledge into, um, into tools. And, and before I talk about the, the, the technical aspect and how teams can actually help in this situation, I, I would like to talk a little bit about, um, about corporate responsibility. So talking about, about corporate responsibility and Alison already introduced, uh, already introduced that topic. Um, we are in fact witnessing the, the largest migration to remote, to remote work that the world has ever seen. And this is a situation that uh, will likely not reverse in the, in the near time. So it's something that will stick around for, for a while. Um, namely, com companies like, like Facebook or like Google have already announced that they will allow their employees, their workforce to work remotely until the end of 2020. And other companies, uh, I believe Twitter, announced that they will open up as an option for their employees to actually work remote forever if, if they want. So um, this, this is very, very disruptive, disruptive to, the way, uh, to the way we work. And what used to be a concern that, that was addressed by the company, everything that is related to corporate wellness or employee wellness, is something that is now dispersed into millions of homes. Um, what used to be company-led uh, wellness programs that included uh, in-office classes or um, gym memberships or healthy snacks at the office, a, a well-thought well and balanced um, menu in, in the office cafeteria, or all the concerns related, for example, to workplace ergonomics, like having uh, a proper chair, proper table, and so on, all these are now a responsibility that uh, is being taken by each individual employee. And 
it's it's obvious that it's obvious that being uh, working from home brings in a lot of savings in both time and money, but employees are definitely paying a toll uh, in being remote. So can we use technology in our favor in a situation like this? Well, I'm sure we can. And um, let, let me kind of give you um, the, the, the example of what we have been doing. So let's talk about technology now. Um, we definitely are seeing an exponential rise in the use of Microsoft Teams uh, to fulfill everything that is related to work or learning communication requirements. And a lot of people are using Teams, so not only to fulfill these work requirements, but also as a way to fulfill our need for social interaction. Uh, and that that actually um, lines up with with the fact that we are so isolated. So um, the the this kind of gener general use of, of technology is also allowing companies to continue to communicate something very important, which are company um, corporate values, and at the same time promote and, and keep promoting team spirit and the sense of belonging that that is so so important and that we're lacking from the fact that we're wo working remote. Um, at Fine Tuning, we have been doing this for for well since the beginning of the pandemic or probably even before the, 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 the pandemic started. I can tell you that before it started, we already had what we call the happiness team in Microsoft Teams. And basically there we share a lot of funny stuff and memes and people share photos from home and stuff like that. And basically um, a team like that actually turned into a very important tool for us to get to know what others are doing. And um, not only that, but we started also scheduling these very reoccurring uh, calls with everyone in the team that are always subject to a topic. So either it is for us to work out together or to have fun together, play a game, uh, sing a song. Um, we are actually using teams to um, to promote this 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 team spirit. So all these lessons that we've learned along these past couple of months uh, from the happiness team and and also from uh, from marketing and and thank you guys for su doing such an amazing job and and making us get together all the time. Um, from all these lessons learned, uh, we decided to prepare some assets that we could distribute and that we, that we could hang hand over to um, to our customers so that you can also address these issues um, by using Microsoft Teams. So um, the most important of those assets is uh, the, the Employee Wellness Starter Kit. This is basically uh, a template for Microsoft Teams that we will show in, in just a second. And it automatically creates a team um, in, in your Microsoft Teams tenant, and it deploys proper channels, proper tabs, demo content that has been uh, curated, um, and all that is supposed to help you get started today if necessary. So if, if you are a business leader, if you are an HR director, if you are a team manager, um, this can actually be, be a great resource to help you uh, promote the improvements in this wellness area and uh, promote a more balanced work life uh, with, with your colleagues. So, um, We'll get started in a second. Let me just tell you that this uh, this starter kit has four channels that we will go over, and they address kind of the four main topics that we identified um, that are related to employee wellness. So fitness, nutrition, mindfulness, and ergonomics. And with this said, so let me quickly stop sharing my screen and I'll share. Okay, so. I'll share Teams. Let's start with the ergonomics channel. And by the way, let me show you that I have here a team called Wellness. And basically I have the four channels that I mentioned, ergonomics, fitness, mindfulness, and nutrition. Note that these channels are not supposed to be kind of a, a, an encyclopedia for, uh, for recipes or for workouts. That's not the goal. So this is supposed to be a collaboration tool. So something that brings together your colleagues, your team, and that will actually drive that sense of group, that sense of belonging, while at the same time, it will definitely promote a healthier lifestyle. 
So in terms of ergonomics, um, we have uh, basically three main tabs in uh, set up in, in the starter kit. Uh, the first one is the ergonomics at home, which is sort of a, uh, a landing or an entry page uh, for, for this area. And here the goal is for you to have some curated content, uh, which you can update uh, frequently. And um, we have here, for example, two areas that have been set up to provide links to external news in this topic, in the topic of ergonomics. And we have a very important one that is highlighted, which is a video on how to set up your desk. So basically when uh, a user clicks on this video, they will be taken to a separate uh, page and these have been set up to open outside Microsoft Teams. And I will just not click and open because then we, will, we would have to be watching like the, the YouTube ads and, and stuff. So I have them open. So basically when, when um, uh, one of your colleagues clicks one of, uh, on the, the video, they will be taken to YouTube to watch an entire video on how to properly set up, um, set up their, their workspace. Then there is the, the workspace guidance tab. And basically this is a slider with uh, a lot of different information and hints on how to set up your space. And it has detailed information on the position for the chair, for sitting, for your foot, um, how you should be uh, handling your surroundings, noise. So there's all sorts of information on how to set up a proper workspace at home. And we know that these are very, very important. We have reports from our own team members uh, that they're having either shoulder aches or neck aches, and all that is related to the fact that you, you don't have a proper setting at home. So um, it is very important to guarantee that we can pass on information that can be useful to our team members so they can set up um, a healthier environment while working from home. And then there is um, this stretching routine area where you, we have created content with uh, definitely a, a, a series of, of amazing exercises, uh, exercises, stretching exercises that people can do under three minutes. So every couple hours or every th three hours, um, we should stop from working, take a little break and do some of these exercises, exercises to guarantee um, that um, that we can continue uh, that we can continue um, our job. So let's jump into the fitness channel. And all these channels have been set up in a way where there is always kind of this entry uh, point. Uh, and here in the fitness channel, this is supposed to show you curated content for uh, like what's up today or what's up this week. So if you don't have the ability um, in your team to have someone that updates this content on a daily basis, at least on a weekly basis to provide like a tip or uh, the indication on when is the upcoming, uh, the upcoming class or uh, provide information that you have a new video or that you have new photos available within the rest of, of the channel. Um, this, for example, this, this area is using Bind Tuning's uh, tiles, uh, tiles web art. And all these areas, by the way, they, they are created using, uh, using our product. So um, I'll jump to the live classes. And the live classes is supposed to be um, a calendar with all the planned classes like group classes that your team is organizing so that people can get together. Um, and I'm sure that you don't really have to hire someone from the outside to to um, to give the workouts. Eventually you can find someone in your team that is great at um, at Zumba or great in dance or something else. And you can actually organize a schedule so that people get together um, and, and do these workouts sort of as a class. And um, if you record those classes, you can make them available in an area like this where um, where people that weren't able to join at the, the scheduled time, they will actually be able to work out at a later time uh, whenever whenever they can. Or you can eventually, if you don't have uh, if you don't have your own schedule, you can curate some content and provide this as uh, sort of a, a guided a, a guided plan 
to your colleague workers. Um, these videos are also these are set up using um, using also a bind tuning a bind tuning web part. In this case, it's the slider, including including video. So um, in this uh, in this particular case, I don't even have to uh, go out of Teams to watch and and consume this this content. Also, to promote the, the the team spirit and the sense of belonging, what um, what we recommend doing is providing an area within Teams where people can actually share content from their homes. Um, we know that there are tons of people which who weren't even working out before, and now they started like their workout routines, or uh, you know they're working uh, working out with their kids or with their dogs even. So it, it's fun and it's engaging to have a place where people can share photos from their home environment. Um, in this case, we're using our, our uh, filter web parts to display uh, an entire gallery of photos. Um, and and this, is, this can actually be very, very engaging and it can be a way of bringing people together. Also, um, and finally within the fitness uh, channel, we have uh, an area where you can curate um, nice workout apps or suggested apps um, in, in different topics like, OK, you can you can pick up pick a, a running app or uh, a yoga app for a training app and provide this as curated content to your team. So this is not supposed to kind of uh, replace what people have on their phones. It's just supposed to be a way um, for you to kind of promote some curated content to your colleague workers. Then um, an area that, that I care deeply about, um, which is mindfulness. Uh, this, is, this is something that in the past years has gained uh, enormous relevance, relevance at, at corporate level, and there are multiple companies all over the world that promote mindfulness programs uh, for their, their employees. And uh, right now, since we're all remotely, uh, it, it's probably harder for those companies to uh, continue to, to promote those, those activities. And I believe that Microsoft Teams can actually be a great way for you to um, to, to keep on um, providing this 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 type of activity and this type of content to your colleagues. So we we did set up also uh, this this entry point uh, where you can share. In this case, where we we added uh, kind of a, a very small meditation for the start of the day and a very small small, small uh, meditation for the end of the day, and you can also curate. Um, tips and uh, schedule with with what's um, what's in the calendar for the the coming week or the coming weeks in terms of meditation practices, which you can also organize in group. Um, when we uh, were not in a, in, a, in a quarantine, we actually did a few times some meditations at the office. I believe it was uh, it was really really good. So it was uh, meditation activities were um, the ones that our colleague workers probably uh, loved the most. To be very honest, I I feel that we live such a stressful life uh, with so much anxiety that it's super important for people to actually take some time and feel the present time and. Um, Having these moments and providing these moments to to our team is um, is definitely relevant. Uh, so we are we we did create an area here for you to share a calendar with with group meditations uh, that can also be uh, promoted for the team. And this is displaying our calendar web part. And you can also record this med these meditations, or you can curate content from the web and provide them um, in an area like this where you have uh, several meditations available and people can eventually filter them by topic like, OK, so I'm really anxious today. How can I how can I reduce anxiety by, by doing a short meditation? And you can have a bunch of them ready uh, or, for example, um, I'm super stressed. What can I do for, for some stress relief or um, I'm having problem problems sleeping, which, as Lily said, is something that that is affecting a lot of people um, these days. So this can be a great area to share some some content 
in, um, in this topic of, of meditation. And also, as we, we did with the fitness channel, we also created here uh, a little uh, image gallery where people can share their, uh, their little meditation place in the house. So um, people that like to meditate, normally they have like this little area where uh, they have some, some pillows or some candles. And it's, it's very nice for team members to share uh, this this kind of even intimacy with 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 their colleagues and feel like they're you know belonging to to a group that um, that does a set of, of of activities all together and there is also an area with some basics for people that who have never uh, done any type of meditation and here we have sort of a, a list of questions and answers and let's see if it shows up. Um, so this is our accordion web part and we kind of curated content with some uh, common questions that people who have never done it will have. So uh, how to start? Should I have should I have a, a better time of the day to do it? How should I sit? Uh, th these are like very, very common questions people have. And finally, we have the nutrition channel and this is definitely something super, super important these days. Uh, it's easy for people either to eat really bad um, a lot of times during the day or not eat at all while working from home. And I have that example in my house. So uh, my husband is kind of a workaholic and is, he's sitting in, in the desk all day. And if someone doesn't remind him that it's time to, to have lunch or to have dinner, he will probably not even get up. Um, so a lot of people are having uh, nutrition issues and definitely what we eat has a direct impact on our performance, performance in terms of, of work. Um, and the work we do is, is definitely affected by what we have um, and, and our nutritional um, kind of habits. So this, this entry area, you can also uh, curate content to provide to your colleagues like with a, a ni nice ideas for uh, recipes for the day or for the week. And these can actually be curated recipes so that these are kind of brain boosts or productivity boost recipes. And you can find lots of them online. So it's, it's very good to provide these in a curated way to your colleagues. Um, then we have an area with multiple um, multiple recipes suggested. Um, this, these are displayed in a slider uh, in a slider view when when people click it, they will actually open the recipe. And for example, you can have sort of a daily menu uh, with something for them to prepare at breakfast, something for them to um, have during lunchtime or how to prepare a, a healthy snack um, to have during the day. Then we have um, an area with uh, a work from home shopping list and we at fine tuning, we have a, some colleagues that uh, that are single that are living by themselves and now that they don't go to the office and eventually they don't go out for, for lunch, um, they're really not used to go shopping and it's harder for them to um, to decide on what to buy. So what is my my healthy shopping list? You know, like uh, an easy way to to check, check, check when uh, when I go out um, shopping for 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 food. And we have curated a list of of kind of base items you can get, and all these will help you um, create very, very nutritious meals. And finally, uh, we also added an inspiration um, area, and this is using our um, social media, our social web part, uh, and this is displaying a Pinterest channel with uh, with some ideas. But you can actually uh, decide what to put here uh, and eventually set it up for uh, for a different channel. So this is um, this is the the um, the employee wellness starter kit. And how do you get started if you want to do it today? So it's super simple. Basically, you only have to go to Bind Tuning. Uh, you click sign in to um, to log in and if you don't have an account at Bind Tuning, you will be required to um, to create a new one. And once you log in, 
you will see that there is this area here to start. And this is where you have like all the bind chaining starter kits. And it's as simple as searching for wellness. And here it is. So uh, it's as simple as selecting the, the starter kit. And once you click uh, one click install and start installation, basically you only have to log into uh, to your Office 365 tenants, uh, provide a new team name and start the installation. So it's really, really simple. Um, let me leave you with uh, uh, another resource, which is um, a page that we now have available at bindtuning.com slash employee dash wellness. And this page basically kind of has all the details of what I've been um, talking about today. You will also find all the screenshots for um, for the, 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 the starter kit and you will find the link to um, to start the installation. So I believe that we have gone through all this and I do hope that these resources can help you within your company to promote um, wellness, well-being and a happier life within your team. Thank you, Lily. Um, OK, so I don't see any questions. Um, the last thing um, we just want to say is that um, the Employee Wellness Starter Kit is available now, as Beatrice showed on our store. Um, you actually get a three month free subscription um, and it's available now. We've been offering that for all of our starter kits for um, since the beginning of the pandemic. And you can either go to bindtuning.com and go to get started, create an account and go to the start button to download the app or you can um, scan the QR code here in this window. Um, and that's it. Uh, we will be sending, oh wait, I have a question. <laughs> uh, here's a question. Is there an option or kit for analyzing employees daily health status? Okay, you can still hear me, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not yet. Um, we know that uh, probably what you are asking is something similar to Office Vibe, which is um, a totally separate product, so not related to Microsoft Teams. Um, and we have been considering uh, to, to create something like that, although uh, at this moment we don't have uh, we don't have that type of functionality. OK. Um. And unless there's any other questions, let me just go here. Um, nope, I think that's it. Then we're going to call it a wrap uh, from myself, from Allison, from Beatrice and all of my colleagues at Bind Tuning. We hope you stay safe. We wish you the best and we thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye.